down here waiting? Oh, man. All right, so Moja, give me a couple of seconds and we get the toast on, all right? It's Emoja. is the principle of the day. Moja is the principle of the day. Moja is the principle of today. All right, I'm still working on camera angles and stuff. So we're trying to work this out just a little bit. Let me adjust it just a little bit because I don't feel 100% confident about this right here. I want to move it just a little bit forward. There we go. Maybe I might need to move it back. I don't know. We're working on it. You know, Jeremy Journey is a journey. All right, so <clears throat> as y'all see, we have killed this one during the day. So I have to bring out a new one for y'all. Don't be frightened. Don't be frightened. This is the original. Of course, you know we gotta start off with the water. So today is yes it is. Today is a mojo. Of course, we're gonna start off with some water. Start the day off right. Another one of those. Drink that water. Make sure you get hydrated. <clears throat> Keep that energy. A lot of our shit are flowing. So, today is a moja. Um, trust. Uh, the, uh, the law of mentalism. And we are going to have a powerful discussion about it. Um, before we get into that, I need y'all to know once again, remember, I'm flipping the order around. So, you don't see footage that I did earlier, and I mean, how much earlier can you do it than 3.30, all right? But, you know, that's what we do here, you know, so I can try to keep up, especially during the week. Um, we won't be going to the board today. We won't be going to the chair. So when I'm doing the chair, y'all know that I'm doing a little pre-production. So on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm going to try to do the board, but I'm coming from the chair on um, all the other days, all right? 
most of them. Let's just say it like that. That's where it stands right now. So we're going to hit on the Moja, a little bit of truth, and um, a whole lot of mentalism, right? Because we really need to look at those things. Now, today is the release date for Freedom Within Limits. All right? Check it out. I'm going to post up the link so that you can get it. I'll be doing all that a little bit later on today. Um, read it. Let me know what you think. You know, you get it uh, on Kindle. It'll be going out. I think about three dollars on Kindle. You gonna get it. You know, get it. Why is why is cheap? Also, you get it for ten dollars um, on my Create Space. So I'm gonna put all that up so that you can. Those that are interested, you get it. As you see, I killed this one. Got all the little bacteria floating around in there. So, I'm going to pour that in there. Wash that bottle out. Now we got to go and open up a new one. Uh, so, just to keep them separate, I'm going to just drink this one real quick because I want to see how this one tastes by itself. Ways. The sediment you see, once again, is the colony of kombucha. The colony. So everywhere that some of this kombucha goes, some of the colony goes. So whether I have it in the small bottles, like that, or the other brown bottles that y'all see me bring with me, no matter how much I strain it, colony goes with it and the colony or the culture as I like to put it because they teach me so much the culture makes sure that the drink stays consistent so if something happens to the culture if it's too hot or it get boiled um, or it freezes it could survive pretty much cold you know cool temperatures because you can put it in the refrigerator but if you boil it it kill the culture right and that's not what we're trying to do we're trying to get those probiotics so we're going to have our water now we're about to do our toast first we call on the creator by whatever name you choose to call it creator call that energy into our lives even though it's already here we want to recognize it we want to be aware of that energy see we learn something and we want to be aware of the creator's energy flowing around us and flowing through us and flowing with us right so we salute the creator and we say our shake from there we move on to our personal ancestors we toast our ancestors we want them to know that they have our love and that they have our support just like uh, we have their love and we have their support we want to toast all those that made it possible for us to be who we are right it's a beautiful thing, right? So we want to toast them and we want to salute them and we say, I say, from there, we move on to our, to this moment, this moment of emoji. We want to recognize this moment. We want to recognize the emoji energy in this moment. We want to recognize the law of mentalism in this moment. We want to recognize um, the, the truth, the myotic principle of truth in this moment, right? And we want to come to realizations within ourselves about these things. And in those realizations, free ourselves. We say, I say, from there, we say, um, we pour and we drink for our children, our children's children into infinity. We drink health so that we could be around to enjoy some time with them. You know what I'm saying? But we also want to make sure that we leave a legacy for them, right? Thinking generationally. So we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Hmm. A little bit more carbonate. I'm gonna put some of those 
and put some of that in the bottle. Mm, mm, mm. Started. Oh, hold on. We still experiment with the oil in it. Um, in the workout today stretch stretches some isometrics i'm trying to get my kicks back i'm trying to get a little bit of my capoeira moves back because uh i'm trying to inspire some of my caparista brothers to come out and teach my kids all right so y'all heard me right because i'm rusty i can't do it so i need some of the younger ones or there's one caparista in columbus that's older than me but he's uh he's good you know but uh, somebody need to come out and teach my kids. You know, I'm doing a lot of other stuff. I need my kids to learn some capoeira. Um, some of the stuff we got going on every other Saturday, we have um, my brother Anthony Nesbitt. He's coming out here teaching, um, teaching the crew how to box. You know what I'm saying? The basics of boxing. Um, we got Miss Tracy. She teaching um, the Vedic math. Um, brother Allende um, is coming out and doing drum. And dance, you know, because he's teaching the males how to dance. They also working on drumming. Um, of course, we're gonna get somebody out there to teach the sisters how to dance as well. Um, and then we get into the Gianni course. You know, what I'm saying the warrior training. So we got the body handle with the uh, boxing um, and the drill. We got um, the spirit handle with the drum, right? Miss Tracy handling the mind with the uh, uh, with, with with the Vedic math and you know we're gonna fill in the rest with the lessons all right so with that we're gonna start this oil and we're gonna get busy
All right, y'all. So, we just got out of Imani. We're moving into Umoja. And I just wanted to cover some thoughts from the chair, as you can see, on this great day of. That's right. That's right. Umoja. Umoja. Listen. So, on Umoja, let me find my cheat sheet. Let me find my cheat sheet. On a moja, we're dealing with, of course, unity, which is a moja, truth, uh, mentalism. The male name is Krojo, and the uh, female name is Adwa. Adwa. Well, anyway, and the color is violet, all right, purple, like a, you know, but anyway, let's just, let's just talk about this for a second. Now. In my mind, as y'all know, what's been sticking with me is the whole concept of, matter of fact, let me read it straight to you. Awake out of thy suffering, O thou who lies prostrate. Awake thou, thy head is in the horizon. Now, this has been on my mind for since Ujima, this, this proverb and what I need to stress on this day of Emoja, since we since we are moving into it, I want to keep it because we talked about it on um, Ujima, we talked about it on Mia, we talked about it on Kuumba, we talked about it on Imani, but I want you to understand that in Umoja, all of the principles must work together in order for unity to happen, right? So we got to have all of our principles and everything working together as one, right? So, along with Emoja, on this day, we have truth, which is a modic principle. We have uh, the law of mentalism, which is um, a hermetic law. So, first, now, when we talk about unity, we talk about the five elements of the human being. Working as one, right? Working as one. Five. Intuition, mental, emotional spiritual and physical all, all acting as one right and in them acting as one what starts to happen is we start to awaken right we awaken we're able to awaken now what the law of mentalism tells us is that the all created the universe or the multiverse or however you look at it through mentalism through thought right the universe is a manifestation of the thoughts of the creator and since they call it the all within the all right this all is in everything and it's in you now when you awaken within yourself when you awaken yourself right you have access to this power of the all and since you have access to the power of the all this means that if the universe is mental it can be affected by other mental things so you can start shaping your own reality by you shaping your mind and by you shaping your thoughts now how do you do this you do this by becoming conscious and being aware of what goes on in your mind right one of the first laws when you entered the uh the temples of Kemet was control of thought why because the thoughts form into our lives Many of us are laying prostrate. Many of us are asleep. And our thoughts are just randomly going. What I'm saying is that if you want to go to the next level in life, you have to get control of your mental. You got to get control of your mind. What are the things you think? What are the things you're thinking about? Right? Are they being, are they productive in your life? Are they bringing to you the things that you need in your life? Very simple. Right? What about... The, the, the systems you are establishing in your life. Have you established systems that get your mind focused on what, what it needs to be focused on rather than having other people's systems and, and, and applying yourself in other people's systems, right? You need to start building yourself. You need to start with your intuition, your mind, your emotions, your spirit, and your body. <laughs> Right? You need to build these things and start working on them and make them powerful. Because when they come together as one, the suffering and the change falls. 
Now, this is thoughts from the chair. I'm going, you know, I'm doing it in advance, you know, this is called pre-production, right? So you hear all the noise, and it's cool. You know, we work on that eventually, right? But we're getting better at what we're doing. Because you see, I'm not as dark as I was yesterday, and I got my shirt off, right? So um, in, in this segment, what we're going to do is we're, we're, we're starting Kumba to Kumba. I decided to flip things a little bit. So you'll get this part right after the toast um, on, on a regular basis, right, if, uh, if I can do it. Except when we go to the board, because we're going to go to the board like on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because I'm up late on Tuesday and Wednesday night making sure I get all the production done for the show so that you can get it. But then we'll move straight into the work where I'm, the, 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 that part of my ritual where I'm cleaning up the kitchen or whatever part of the house I'm cleaning up. And then we'll move into the workout meditation. Then after that, that's when I'm going to take the ice cold shower. All right? So now, start, it's, you don't have to do what I do. Understand, understand this. I'm not doing this so that you can be like, I need to do it like Brother I Tim. No, I'm doing it so that you can see that it's effective. You can see the slight changes in my body, right? You can see what the results from me are all that and what's going on, right? I ain't, you know, because it's like, it don't grow teeth back, but it stops a lot of the pain that you might get because it, it purifies. You can see what's going on with me in the kombucha, with me in that ambrosia, you know what I'm saying? As far as the health drink, you can see, you eventually start seeing some of the changes and stuff in my life because of the daily focus I have on the principles and the daily focus on making sure that I'm pouring libations and feeding my ancestors, taking care of my ancestors because they take care of us. And as you start incorporating systems into your life, you'll start having, you'll start seeing and noticing the changes and the power behind those changes. This is Brother Hot Tim. I'm thanking you for tuning in. I ask you to like, subscribe, and most importantly, share. Help me reach my goal of 200. I'm going to do 200 by, let's say, June, June 21st, summer solstice. I'm going to see if I can make it to 200, and I need your help to do that, all right? This is Brother Hot Tim, and with that, I'm saying peace. You are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. This is a Heart of a Symbol production. Where we strive to blow up your old paradigms. If you're not adding anything to the culture that you claim, you don't deserve to carry his name. This is Brother Hatem coming at you live, and you are now listening to the Giami Journey Radio.
Shouts out to the Jiami tribe, Jiami family. Stand up. Peace. Be sure to follow Jiami Journey on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Check us out. Join the journey. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.